card I'm going to show you today is made with one of our new hostess stamp sets called Simply Sketched. I, I really love the design of this, the sketched look, and I love the verses that come with it and the font that they're in. So this has become quickly one of my favorite stamp sets in the new catalog. I wanted to point out to you that it shows you in the catalog the value of this stamp set. This one, for example, for a wood mount, the value is $20.95. If you are a hostess, though, you can get this with your hostess dollars for only $14. 14 of those hostess dollars. Now you can host a traditional workshop where you invite your friends over and I come over and show you some different things and we stamp together. You can do a book party where you gather orders from your friends or you can simply go online to my website and place an order there and still get the stamp and rewards, the hostess benefits. So lots of opportunities for you to get this stamp set. This is a piece of watercolor paper. It is two inches by three inches, and I'm going to set it on my paper piercing pad. And this is one of the paper piercing templates with the ovals, and I'm going to line it up on here. And how I'm making sure that this is centered, I'm looking at this space right here and here to see if it's pretty evenly spaced. Then I know that my, my dots here are centered. And the same thing down here and up here. So that's the easiest way for me to line it up. Now it's important to hold this on here firmly when you're doing paper piercing. And I'm going to do the dots that are on this line here right outside the smallest black line. I start at the top and I'm going to poke the holes all the way around. Now there are a ton of holes on here and you might be slightly intimidated by this thinking that it's going to take a long time, but you can really do it quite quickly and you don't have to, you know, you just have to poke that hole. You don't have to go way down. You just need that hole to be pierced to give this effect. So don't worry about it taking too much time. Give it a try. Oops, looks like I missed one. I can just add that there. Okay, so I have my oval on here. Hopefully you can see that well. All those little dots and you can tell it did not take me too long. So I'm going to set that aside and the reason I do my dots first is I just find it easier to line up my stamp where I want it if I can kind of look at that bottom line of um, dots there. So I'm using some stays on black ink and the stamp out of that set that's got the bird with some grass behind it. So I'm going to tap that on here and then I'm just going to place it right inside that oval that I pierced. Okay? Um, just a quick tip with your stays on pad, because the lid goes on just like this, and also you might notice that plastic piece that comes in it, I attach it to the lid with glue dots. Keep it like this, flip it over, and that will help keep the ink at the top of the pad and help it last longer for you. So, a uh, quick water coloring technique I'm doing, just squeezing the lid and then I'm creating a little palette here of ink that was soft suede and this is wild wasabi. This is an aqua painter. There's water in the barrel here. You can unscrew it to refill it as needed. And I'm going to start by just picking up some color here. You want to start lighter because you can always go back and add more color. So it's really easy just to paint some of this soft suede in on that bird. And then what I'll do is pretend like I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm using the lines that are already here and adding more ink to those particular areas where there's an implied shadow there with those lines. I'll go back and put some on the tail, a little bit here around his head. So I'm just kind of working with what the concept artist already gave me with the lines that are created. I swipe my aqua painter on my scrap paper and then I can go over and pick up the next color, the wild wasabi. So this I'm just going right over, right on top of these lines of grass. And you can see too, I'm not totally staying in the lines. You can be really free and um, with your watercolor you don't have to worry about being too particular. That's part of the beauty of it. So just gonna put some color down here over all of these grass pieces. And again, you could go back and add more if you wanted some to be a little darker than others. But that's just a quick way to color in using your ink in an aqua painter. So let me close these up and I'll show you the finished card that I did. So this is definitely my focal point. 
And what I did is I took it on and layered it using Stampin' Dimensionals. Hopefully you can see that dimension. Layered it on a piece of wild wasabi and I used the stays on ink again and just stamped with heartfelt sympathy. Place that on here and then you see the wood grain texture on this piece of soft suede cardstock. So really a, a stunning card but it doesn't take very long to do the coloring and you can tell that that oval on there just makes such a big difference and just adds so much to the card. Thanks so much for watching my video. For daily creative inspiration visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.